As with a lot of projects, the first step is to clean the window. And I have a little help, don't worry, she wanted to help. It's not slave labor. <laughs> So I found my favorite cross. I love the shape of it and I'm just going to use an Expo marker and trace it in the middle so I know where my cross is going to go. I'm using painter's tape and just going around the whole uh, outside of my door. Okay, here's a picture of my example. So there's four little diamonds at the very top and five going down the bottom. So here's where math comes in. I measured it and it's about 73 inches tall. So I basically divided 73 by five. So every 14.6 inches, I'll make a mark going down. And then for across, it's 29 inches. So I divide that by four, so it's about 7.25 uh, across you'll make a mark and so you'll just use your measuring tape and and a uh, marker and just mark where you want it to go now for taping so I take the first mark on top and then go diagonally to the first mark on the side and you'll just go to each corresponding mark as you go. Make sure you get the right one, but you can always take it off and redo it. That's a good thing about tape. Okay, so if you look, I put a mark up here and then I follow the tape all the way down to here. Oh, so basically you're just finding okay. your marks and lining them up. So I pretty much just, just did the top first and then worked my way down. And I had to do it three times and math finally came in for the win. So remember kids, pays to know math, even artists need it. Anyway, made it nice and symmet symmetrical, so that's great. And then I retraced my cross over my tape so I can see it when I fill it in in a sec. Don't forget random dance moment. <laughs> First I'm using just straight yellow, 
Then I mixed one scoop of yellow and one scoop of orange to get like a golden color. Now I'm just using plain orange and going around the cross making sure I don't get inside of it. Just like your hand, wash your brush thoroughly. I like to just scrub it in there. <laughs> and it's spongy, so you'll have to like push on it. Clean it, clean it, clean it. Make sure it's nice and clean when you switch colors. Now I'm just using the plain blue and filling in a couple of the diamonds. I mixed a light blue, it was one white and one blue. The turquoise was one scoop of white, one blue, and one green. Next, I mixed uh, one scoop of white and one scoop of green to get like a light green. Now I'm just using the plain green so it's just a little bit darker. It's so easy, even a toddler can do it. This is a fun activity the whole family can join in on. Oh yeah, and now we're just using plain purple. Now I'm just using plain black and painting a couple of the squares. I mean, triangles. I mean diamonds. What the world? <laughs> Next, I made a peachy color using two scoops of white, one orange, and one, a little bit of red. Now I'm just using some red. Uh, the example had some clear ones, but I didn't think it would look right with this, so I kind of just winged it and added white wherever there was some colors left. But you know, this is a great thing you can improvise. You can do whatever colors you want. I'm just cutting out the cross where the tape is. Sweet paint delivery. Just using a smaller paintbrush and filling in my cross with white paint. favorite part of any project when we get to peel the paint. So I waited about an hour so hopefully it's dry enough. Ooh, look at that. That's very satisfying for some reason. Uh oh. It's not peeling the best but I could always fix that. Oh I know what I need to do. <laughs> I'm just using an X-Acto knife and lightly going where the tape meets the paint so it cuts the paint so when you peel it, it doesn't get all weird looking. It actually looks like the tape. So yeah, just a little step to help it look neat.
so much tape. Woo, coming at ya. Any mistakes you have, you can always just get a razor and just kind of scratch it off. I have a paint scratcher thing somewhere that would work so much better. But anyway, or you can even just smudge it away. That's a good thing about this. If you mess up, it's super easy to get off your window. So that's kind of nice. So I'm just going to go in and fix some of the little imperfections. Thank you so much for watching Wednesdays We Craft. We painted a beautiful screen door. I hope you guys try it at home. If you do, don't forget to put it on the Wednesdays We Craft Facebook. I'd love to see pictures. Uh, this is a great activity for the whole family. So it's kind of cool how it started. So as per usual, my projects come from, you know, oh, I think that's cool. I'd love to do that. So I had, I had a couple friends send me this. It's basically, you know, the same thing, but it has, you know, it's kind of willy-nilly. I wanted it like diamonds, so I made it my own. Um, but I guess it came up, Jessica Swen came up with it. So thank you, Jessica Swen. I love this idea. Uh, she did it for Lent, but I'm doing it for Easter. I'm a little behind on that, but that's okay. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe below and hit the bell so you can get a new craft every Wednesday. Thank you so much. See you next week.